over the last five years into my career as a data scientist, I've found that um, there are a lot of important concepts that data science courses, online boot camps, um, and even some physical boot camps won't teach you. And this is not to say they are bad. Um, I want to take that, that as an omission or probably it's not in their scope to cover. But these concepts are very important for you to know when you begin to work as a data scientist. In fact, one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel was basically to be able to share some of these things and concepts to people so that what took me a very long time to learn on the fee on the job would be easier for others and they can sort of be informed about them um, beforehand. So let's get into it. The first thing is code performance. See, the first skill I've seen a lot of data science courses and online boot camps don't teach is about code performance and how to write clean and efficient code. And this is a very important skill for every data scientist to learn. Understanding code performance is the difference between um, writing a code that takes six to seven hours to run and another that takes 10 minutes. <laughs> and I mean it, you know, things like using inbuilt functions, um, not repeating yourself, instead writing Python functions, vectorizing your code, etc. And knowing everything can be solved using for loops if you are new to Python is a major way to improve your code performance. This is sort of a step above just getting your codes to work. Everybody gets excited when they write codes and their codes work, um, but a step above that is to think about how does your code perform in production, which is sort of where you want your code to be. You should ask yourself the question, is this effective? Is this clean? Can someone else understand this? See, I learned this over time with experience, but I think it would be nice um, that right from time when you get into the field that you know and you sort of develop good habits um, for writing codes. Takes me to my second point, statistics and mathematics skills. One thing that I've noticed uh, most data science courses um, do is to try to make the courses general so a lot of people can understand and I really do appreciate that don't get me wrong um, I teach data science myself at a boot camp and this is good sometimes I'm also struggling between how to how simply to explain concept and how complex I really want to make it be now but why you may not uh, understand mathematics and statistics to get started in data science you won't go far without them how <laughs> I mean it for example why while learning about um, linear or logistic regression, it is important to learn about the assumptions of the linear regression. This way, when you're building or you're coding linear regression, you can understand the conditions to make them work optimally. Painfully, most data science courses don't even talk about this or even explain this in detail. Now, to my third point. Knowing Python or SQL won't make you a good data scientist. Um, <laughs> that sounds kind of conflicting, right? But let me explain. When I started my career as a data scientist, you know, I thought if I learned to use Python better or master Tableau better or learn Spa BI, I would be a good data scientist. It's not true. Don't get me wrong. Python, SQL, Git, W, and all are very important skills for a data scientist, but I believe that there are many other non-technical skills that make you stand out as a great data scientist. I think what is more important is that you can use your data science skills, Python, SQL, and the likes to create value. Now, thinking like this, in my opinion, uh, is what separates junior data scientists um, from senior data scientists. I've noticed that junior data scientists um, tend to get excited about their machine learning algorithms being 99% accurate. Why that is great and that is really good, the better way to think about it is how does this LML algorithm brings more revenue or more sales or generally helps my company to or system to achieve their target and that also talks about the fact that it is important for you to then bring in your non-technical skills to communicate to collaborate with other people and to be able to share your result in a very clear and straightforward way and that in itself is what makes you a good data scientist painfully a lot of um, data science courses don't actually focus on these non-technical skills if you've seen this video up to this point please consider subscribing and like this video so that the youtube algorithm can show it to others takes me to my fourth point 
Now, teamwork and collaboration. As a data scientist, you would most likely not work alone. You will work in a team of other data scientists, data analysts, data engineers, or maybe ML engineers, depending on the structure in your company. And this is where to do your work effectively, you need to learn how to collaborate. A very good collaboration tool on your code is Git. Git is a version control system. I think you have a similar version control system on Google Docs, for example, or Google Sheet, where you can track your changes over time. Git helps you to track changes to a file system, but not just a file system, but a folder system. This can be hosted on GitLab or GitHub or maybe source repository for Google Cloud projects. Now, learning how to use Git is a very vital skill for collaboration because with that, you can share your codes with others. You don't have to send them as an attachment in an email <laughs> and then you can also edit them in edit them in real time and other people can also you know work on it so it helps collaboration you can share your code with others you can see what others are working on and also track changes to your organization's code base unfortunately i've also seen that many data science courses don't even teach this at all um, if you'd like to learn more i think there is a very good youtube video here um, by luke that explains the whole concept about git and you check it out um, the fifth point that I want to talk about is um, communication I think this is a skill every data scientist should learn and painfully a lot of boot camps and data science courses also don't mention this or even teach this this is a um, sort of non-technical skill that is important if you really want to scale up um, if you really want to grow in your career very fast. Often as a data scientist, you will have to explain your result. You will have to explain the result of your machine learning algorithm or even uh, your dashboard to showcase it to people. This is what it does and make it also as simple as possible. And it is even more difficult if you have to do this to non-technical audiences. Knowing how to communicate effectively could be um, as simple as using the mean absolute percentage error instead of the mean absolute error in your presentation because for example with the mean absolute percentage error you can put your um, results in a number and say okay our model has 85 percent or 15 percent mean absolute percentage error and then the listener can understand your concept in percentages than for you to say uh, the mean absolute error that we have is 2.5 or 0.25 that might be good but the non-technical person or non-data person cannot just grasp that um, very well. Now, communication is definitely a skill that I think that every data scientist should invest in and seek to develop. But painfully, a lot of data science courses also don't mention this. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please check out my previous video where I shared about six secrets that can make data science very easy for you to work with and to grasp. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.